I think she uh, looks amazing. She uh, whatever I see of the promo is extremely uh, you know uh, exciting, and uh, I think the trollers will shut up once they watch the film. Can you all give one special message for all your female fans out there for Women's Day? Um, to each and every uh, girl or woman out there, you know, I I don't think firstly we need a Women's Day to celebrate us. I think we're great. Uh, we're all multitaskers. I think uh, you know we're we're uh, amazing life partners. We're mothers. We multitask at work. Honestly, I am not trying to be sexist here, but men cannot multitask the way women do, and so each one of you should appreciate that. Even if you're a homemaker, I think it's the toughest job in the world to be one. So appreciate being a woman, believe in yourself, and uh, go get the world. Super, Sam. I believe that every girl, every girl out there should remember that there is a superhero in each one of us. So never forget that strength and never forget the superhero in you. Super. Next, Tamanna, tell me. First of all, happy Women's Day to everybody. March 8th is going to be phenomenal for each and every woman. I think it's a day where uh, men can actually treat all their women and girls can go out with their girlfriends and <laughs> spend time enjoy each other's company and express a little bit of how they feel about each other and if you want to express it in the best way then go watch captain marvel very well said kajal a very happy women's day to one and all all over the world and uh, all i'd like to say is that don't ever forget the resilience and determination that you were born with all of us are extremely strong extremely powerful and uh, regardless of what we do or the circumstances we face regardless of where we are in life all of us are truly superheroes so in captain marvel's words hi or for the faster baby <laughs> wow 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 thank you so much lovely ladies uh, very very inspiring words motivating words and thoughtful words and now uh, we open the floor for the press for the media to ask their questions now the marvel studios has come up this project which has actually gone beyond that gender discrimination gender discrimination i mean so what's your take on that so i think uh, as a female actor um, you know i feel it's very un- even i mean i talk a lot about uh, you know how uh, women should be given equal importance the pay disparity the pay disparity should reduce uh, more female centric films should be made uh, whenever i make such comments i realize that it's also important and i hold responsibility for making better content and uh, i think as female actors we have to push for better content and uh, it's really amazing that um, the marvel studios have come up with this and i i hope we take inspiration i think we already are creating a lot of female centric content uh, but yes as a female act uh, female leading uh, actor i would i would definitely encourage it and feel responsible to choose scripts that are more empowering for me as an actor and as a woman i think uh, all of you would subscribe to the fact that uh... Marvel Studios has, in fact, uh, opened the floodgates for such a happening. Yes, Marvel is definitely doing a great job, and they have very seamlessly converted uh, Marvel Universe into Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is amazing. Um, and I'm a huge Marvel fan, so coming from that point of view, yes, they are doing a fabulous job. But I think even back home, we have, we are coming of age. We are making uh, cinema which is very uh, female centric. There are films written for women. There are scripts uh, which revolve only around important character of the woman, and uh, also we have a lot of women technicians now, DOPs, directors. So I think times have changed. Paula, what is your main reason for being in the trinity to be associated with Marvel and uh, Captain Marvel? And uh, also, I mean, should I do the points on uh, the uh, fan hypocrisy on the lead actress, you know, for speaking her mind? You know, I kind of I was I sorry, I'm about to. I I went through the trolls that happened, uh, you know, uh, on Brie, and I thought that that was really really childish, because uh, I know that this is. I think if the if the film is good, it doesn't matter whether it's a girl or a boy. It doesn't matter. The content will sell. Uh, these trolls are very childish. Unfortunately, being uh, you know diverted towards Brie. I think she uh, looks amazing. She, uh, whatever I see of the promo is extremely, uh, you know, uh, exciting. And uh, I think the trollers will shut up once they watch the film. 
And I'm not aware of the hypocrisy. Sorry, can you just shed yes, some light upon it? I've not read about it. Yeah, supposedly I think Bree uh, made some remarks about uh, you know uh, diversity in uh, interviewers, male uh, white interviewers, and it didn't go well with the society, the dominantly white society. So what I the trolls that I was talking about was about how there are you know very few fe- uh, like few female centric films, and now that there's a female superhero. Will that stand as strong as the male superhero counterparts? So that's the role I was talking about. I didn't complete. Did she that. actually say that in those many words? Yeah, she said uh, to you know. I think I quote. She said, uh, you know, I think we need we require more, uh, you know, diverse ethnicities in you know for interviewers. I'm not exposed to that role. for interviewers. Yeah, male white interviewers, and this didn't go well with you no know, in the uh, section, the media section, and then I think she's been receiving a lot of uh, flack. flack for it. Yeah. Uh, but I do believe. Okay, so I'm not aware of what she said, but I do believe that we do have diverse ethnicities in all fields of life. So it's not just about the media, but even in our profession, when it comes to cinema, we do have diverse ethnicities all over the world. I think, I think, with all these data schemes being so, you know, free data, all that they do is sit on social media and give trolls. And I think if we start bothering about that, then when are you ever gonna? Yeah, you know, do make your own superhero work. films. Yeah, make superhero films or be the hero that you are. So I think trolls is the last thing that you should pay attention to. Yeah, the female role model or superhero in your own lives. The all of you, you can answer. Yeah. Wow. I think for me, um, I've not uh, followed one person as a role model. I think there's so many people um, that there's so much to take from. And I admire many of them. And starting at home, you know, with our mothers, I think itself, because the, the way they have uh, sacrificed so much, I think each one of our parents have sacrificed so much for us. I don't think we have that strength to do that. You know, we hold on to our things so much or what we have so much. So I think I would say my mother to begin with. And then there's so many people who have achieved so much. So one person, idealizing one person, something I've never had. But I really look up to all these women out here as well. I think each one of them has, you know, made a name for themselves all by themselves. We look up to you as well. I think, you know, what we should do, each one of us should get one one. Uh, power and we should do one one thing like you I'll, I'll destroy terrorist camps she'll do this you do Swachh Bharat then we'll have we, there's so much to do in the country you know there's so much but I think I'd just like to add here if each one of us starts believing that we can and we don't need these powers to then we really will be able to do it rather than just sitting on the stage and saying that if we get these powers we will change uh, or bring in Swachh Bharat I think each one of us even just if we take our responsibility seriously, we'll be able to bring that change. So, absolutely, I agree. Can we give a big round of applause to all the women here? Thank you so much. Thank you. Visit our site, EnglishSpeechChannel.com, for exclusive access to video transcripts, offline audio, English lessons, and private classes. Don't forget to explore our free and new ebooks. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter for the latest updates. Links in the description below. Thanks for your support.